here we go. First and foremost, I will never reach out to you. So if somebody reaches out to you on social media or any other way, it is not me. It's not. Trust me, not me. Um, I only do readings over the phone or in person. I do not email or text readings at all. So if somebody's offering to email you a reading, <laughs> it's not me. No, I don't even open most of my emails. Okay. Okay. Um, and if I emailed you a reading, it would be like a text. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. It's just it. Just it. And it would have a lot of mistakes in it like punctuation and grammar, it's why I don't email basically. Okay, we got that now. Okay, next. Um, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon. Every once in a while, I do a pop-up show trying to work that in regularly to my schedule, but I've been so busy with um, private sessions that I haven't been able to do the pop-ups, but that's okay. It's all good. It'll happen when it's supposed to. But every Monday and Wednesday at noon central, I do go live and you can join us live. So if you're watching on one of the amazing stations that host this show, like WSES, hey, Scott, how are you? Um, uh, or any of the WSES streaming channels, on Rude Rangers TV, any of the Rude Rangers streaming channels, um, you can join us live. You can call in. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. Or you can join live on YouTube where I record the show for all said channels and almost every podcast and radio station that plays it. Um Again, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. If you do call in, please hit one so that your hand is raised on the switchboard or whatever we call this thing. And I know that you have a question you would like to ask or a loved one you'd like to connect with on the other side. If you're watching, I point to the right because that's where loved ones come in for me. There, there, and there. Sometimes there. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with some songs because a couple of people have asked for songs in the chat already. So the first person that asked for a song was Heather and her song. I already gave it to her, but I'm going to give it to you. It's every little thing is going to be all right. And I think that's by Bob Marley. And then she confirmed it saying it's been coming up on her playlist. And that is just a, a song that lets you know what the outcome of everything, Heather. So please don't, don't be, um, so um worried all the time the next person aloha jay a song came in for you and it was i'm a party girl in this party world it's fantastic <laughs> aloha jay what is going on in your life that's all i need to know right now what what do you have going on in your life aloha jay <laughs> it sounds fun just saying. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back. I'm going to say hi to everybody who has joined us on uh, YouTube. Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Big hug to you, Anne. Heather, of course. Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Mimi. Mwah. That's for you, Mimi. Um, the, um, the random person who is who is Heather Elizabeth. Elizabeth has a question, which I'm going to get to in a second. Sal, how are you? Happy Monday, Sal. Genevieve. Oh, hey, Genevieve. Thank you so much. Um, and if I didn't say hi, I'm saying it now. Modi, what's going on, Modi? Um, Sally. Hi, Sally. How are you? Fawn, it's so wonderful to see you. <clears throat> Jessica, hey girl, how are you? Oh my goodness, I miss you. We need to go do something. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, Elizabeth asked a question, and then I'm going to go to callers. Elizabeth asked, hi, Tony, just wondering if you see Gunther and I dating, or if a different guy is in store for me. 
Yes, to the second part of that. I do feel like somebody's coming in in June for you, um, Elizabeth. I feel like the person coming in in June is going to be a much better fit for you. It's somebody who's really going to let you know how they feel about you. They're going to let you know they want to be with you. And they're going to want to move forward. I'm going to just say at a at a fast pace, it's, it's your job to slow that down. Um, and do slow it down. That's what I'm hearing. Um, this isn't one of those relationships that should be ready, set, go. This is something that should be, um, it should, it should take all of the appropriate steps. Um, I do feel like it has the potential to go long term, given the fact that you both, you know, don't, you both um, want, want that and don't sabotage it. Um, And Elizabeth, I feel like as far as Gunther goes, he's a really, he's nice, he's good, but there's something there that's just not for, for one of you, maybe for both of you even, there's just something there that's not clicking. So one thing, one thing that I've noticed a, a lot of times is we don't wait for the person we want, we just go with who's ever in front of us. And um, and for a lot of women, if it's not who we want, it's like, do they want me? And I think we need to um, not worry about it just like it needs to happen. I think we need to be in that space where we have a very strong intention about what we want to happen and who we want it to happen with and, and just go from there. I feel like... Um, if we go on that in that way, it will it, it it will be a much better result for everybody involved. For everybody involved, okay. Um. So so Elizabeth, that's that's your answer. Um. I don't feel like Gunther is necessarily a bad person. I feel like he's just maybe not the person you're going to uh, possibly be with at the end of the day. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, I'm going to take the first caller who is 203 and then I'm going to come back to the chat. Uh, uh, the random per person, um, I'm going to come back to where I'm going to have to come back to this because there's a lot there and I want to go to the first caller, but I'm going to come back to the chat. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on the chat today. So, um, 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Pat in Connecticut. Happy Monday. Hey, Pat. How are you? <clears throat> I'm pretty good. How are, hanging in there. Um, how are you doing? Happy Monday to you. I'm good, thank you. I'm good. How can I help you, beautiful? Good. Well, you know, a while ago you gave me an amazing message from my father about my son. I'm wondering, could you contact, see if he's available to talk maybe about both my son and I or any message that he wants to give? And if my, not my father, just any message that you have for me, Tony, and thank you. Yeah, what's your dad's name again, love? Uh, it was Jack and or Carlin, C-A-R-L-I-N. Okay, so the first thing Jack would want to say is, um, huh, let go with love is the first thing that comes in. Um, and it's kind of like that thing, you know, if it's meant to, when, when, when it's meant to come around, it will come around. One of the most difficult things that we have to do in this life is let go of what we feel we should still be responsible for, what we feel we should fix, what we feel we have some sort of um, responsibility over, okay? So one of the things your father is also showing me is like when in 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 nature and i know we are not animals 
but in nature, birds will just kick their little baby birds out of the nest and say, okay, fly now. You're not, you know, you're pretty much on your own now. You can fly, go. And they don't worry about it after that because they've taught them everything they can teach them. And in your case, what I'm getting is it's time for you to um, understand that you've done everything on your end and when or if that comes back, then it comes back, but you can't, um, you can't like you, it's, uh, it's almost like you can't push it. You can't, you, you have to just completely let go. And at that point, when you completely let go, things will start to happen in this situation. I hope that makes sense for you, Pat. Did I do enough, Tony? Because I could have done much, 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 much more. Did I do enough for him to have a solid footing you know, from he, what I gave him? You know what I'm going to say, Pat, is first of all, absolutely yes. Um, every, Thank you. I think in every relationship, whether it's a friend, a child, a partner at work, we always for those of us who are like that, we always feel, did I do enough? I could, I can see now where I could have, would have, should have. No, 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 no. We have to remember everything we go through in our life, we go through with purpose. And that purpose is to prepare us for the life coming to us. Now, you can look back at your life, Pat, when you were a child and what your parents did and how they treated you. And then you can look at your son's life and you can understand that you have appropriately prepared him for adulthood. And I always say, and I don't have children, so maybe, you know, you can feel however you want about what I say. Um, a parent's job is to teach a child to be a responsible, independent adult. Having said that, right. after they become the responsible, independent adult, a great friendship will forge because they are independent, they are adults, and they are responsible, and they can have that respect. But every single person has their own mind, their own will, and more importantly, their own path of what they're supposed to be yeah. teaching us in this life and in this world. And some people come in with a path that maybe we don't think is the right path, a path that we don't think this is the path they're supposed to be on. Um, I have a sister, one of my sisters does um, some recreational activities that not, not everybody in the family loves. And at one point I was saying to her, if you just, you know, could you just maybe let's just, and she, she screamed at me. She said, this, is, this is my mother life. And don't tell me what to do with my mother life. And, um, it, in my head, something clicked. And I said, yeah, I do. I'm the type of person I believe everybody's here on their own journey and they get to pick their own path or it's predestined or whatever it is. So if I believe that, I have to believe that for her too. And I'm going to tell you, she taught right. me more about drug abuse and drug addiction uh, without yeah. me going through it. And, um, and, and it's a path that she is okay with and a journey that maybe she chose far before she came in. But the, the point is, no matter how much or what we do for someone, they're still going to end up wherever they're going to end up sometimes. And there's not a lot we can do right. about that. And, and even if we did everything right, and we see it from families that are in um, urban situations, all colors, races, all different economic situations where children end up like a certain way. So we just have to believe we did everything we could and there was a journey they were possibly supposed to take either to teach us or to teach themselves, yeah. okay? So you did everything you could yeah. and what you couldn't do prior to him leaving the home, you've tried to do since then. 
if he wanted it to be different, yeah. it would be different. He is the only person at this point who can hit that point that will say, I'm done with this, whatever this dynamic is, I'm done with it. And now I'm going to reach out. But until this person reaches out, there's, there, there, there's nothing, nothing anybody could do. Okay. Such sage advice. I love you, Tony. And thank you so much. Ooh, God bless you. I love you too, Pat. I'm so grateful that this was helpful. And I hope that you know um, when the time is right. And if the time comes according to his destiny, he will come back around. Okay. Thank you. You thank you. Oh my goodness, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. And and until next time, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. You, you are welcome. And you couldn't be more wise about children. Believe me, you couldn't give more <laughs> wise wisdom about children. So it, it's it, it's the top shelf that you're giving. Oh, thank you. That's all channeled. Like I said, I don't personally have any children. So this is all coming through in um, channeling. So um, yeah, but thank you so much for saying that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. You okay. are welcome. You are welcome. Okay. There was another question on here. Hello, Tony. If you get a chance, I'm having abdominal issues. Can you see what my body is? is rejecting things. Um, okay, Fawn, I believe that your abdominal issues, the first thing I hear is this is emotional. So we're going to do a clearing all uh, we are emotionally healthy, I get a no, let's clear that. And instantly I feel that all through here, um, Fawn from from like here down. Um, I'm going to tell you this is very, um, it's an emotional issue that um, almost like it's laying under the surface. It's almost like it's something you kind of know it's bothering you, but you're not addressing it or something like that. I'm not sure, but but that's what I'm getting for you, love. And I hope this helps. I'm going to tell you whatever it is, the resolution is coming in Friday. Whatever it is, you will have a resolve for this on Friday. This issue that's causing this, you will have a resolve for it on Friday. Do not do store antacids. Go to the supplement store and get something if you want to get something to soothe. But I would say get something um, like, um, I'm not a doctor, um, magnesium that will that helps to relax the central nervous system right now. That will be of great help to you, okay? Um, I'm going to be taking questions on, on the chat. So if you do have questions, please put them in the chat. If I don't get to your question, please don't be upset with me. I didn't skip you. It's just there's a lot in here, and I'm just going to go to the thing that hits my eye first and answer that rather than making everybody wait while I try to scroll through to all the questions. Uh it, Heather wants to know, can you do any of your new, if you know, you know, tips oh, <laughs> and tricks? Okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Yes. Okay. I can. I can, Heather. I can. There's so many. So has anybody noticed the new Biden? If you know, you know. Brand new, just rolled out this weekend. <laughs> in the morning press conference, we held Biden 6.0. In an afternoon press conference, we had all new AI Biden. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> there are so many, if you know, you knows that are just dying to fly out of me right now. <laughs> I can't because it's like people will be like flying off, um, flying off the station, off the channel so quickly. Um, do it yourself. I call it a do it yourself. Uh, get all the uh, pictures of Biden since before pre 
pre-election and you will be like, wait a minute, this is not the same guy. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's see. We know, Sue McCarthy says, we know, we do know. For those of us that know, we know, we know. There's so much, oh, oh. No, and the same thing with the VP. If you know, you know that's a do D. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> These Halloween masks are getting scary accurate. I have a video, you guys. I have a video um, that um, somebody put on the Tiki Talk, and this is exactly why they want to take that venue down of somebody walking Zelensky up a flight of stairs while another Zelensky was walking out a doorway behind him. <gasps> I want to pull it up and play it right now, but I can't because if you know, you know, I will be, my channel will be gone. <laughs> At least the show will. But if you know, you know, and that's all I can say about all of that good yummy yum. Okay. Um, we are, so we, you know, I've been saying for years, are we the mice in the maze that they're experimenting with? Are they like seeing? I don't know. Okay, let's get on. Uh, I saw that too. Oh, Sue saw that too. Sue, I love it. Thank you. I love that. Hey, Kathy, how are you? How how are you, Kathy? Um Okay. Hi, Tony. Any news about my job interview at 23? Uh, I hear you're going to get it, but I also hear keep looking because there's going to be something coming in that's really fabulous that you're going to love. Um, but if you get offered this, take it and then, but keep going because there's something on the, the heels of this or the tail of this that you're going to love. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to 514. I'm going to come back to, to, um, Hey Kim, how are you? I'm going to come back to the chat, but I'm going to do 514 and then come back to the chat for a minute. 514. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, this is Genevieve from Montreal, Canada. How are you, Tony? I'm good, Genevieve. How are you? Good. Thankfully, it's not as cold, but still too much snow. But it's that time of year where we're getting, again, another six to eight inches of snow again tonight and tomorrow. And this is going to be going on all week, but that's the time of year. Oh, my not, goodness. That minus is... 41. That's ridiculousness. Oh my goodness. That is just ridiculous. <laughs> Genevieve, how can I help you today? It is. Well, um, as you are aware, um, my relationship is going, going cuckoo, I do believe, because uh, my spouse took the pick pick on his arm. His um, mood, he's got major mood swings, uh, very unpredictable. Yeah. And, um, and, I, and you know what? I'm at the point where, sure, I'm just going to hang on till the spring. And coming to spring, I'm, I think I'm going to be making the move, the big move on my own. Um, that said, um, I've had those visions back in my meditations or epiphanies, however you want to call them, uh, two years ago. And he had said two year, in two years, something of that sort was going to happen, as well as I had a epiphany of um, my boyfriend and I some sort of getting into an accident. Back then, you and I worked on that and nothing was coming through. And he has said to you that it wasn't time for you to to dig more into that. And I was wondering because I'm feeling that the TikTok is on, like TikTok, TikTok is coming. You know, uh, I am in the process of doing that. I am in the process of the vision that said for me to. Um, I'm planning. I haven't bought the plane ticket yet, but I'm planning to go see my friend in um, in Brazil. 
And uh, so now I'm starting to get familiarized with Brazilian, Portuguese, and so on. I'm wondering if uh, this is what, uh, I don't know, there's this um, this thing in me that really says, yep, it's coming. It's right now. It's unfolding in front of you. The changes are coming. And it has said to me so many things about the finances, getting some uh, lump of money coming in, the accident with Michelle, um, separation, well, me moving out. Is this what's going on right now? Am I uh, getting this right? Yeah. Okay. So Genevieve, thank you for um, all of the information. And uh, the song I hear for you is, it's the final countdown. Yes. Yeah, so everything is c about to come um, to finality with your situation. I'm going to tell you, um, it is time for you to put everything, um, like I see three areas, um, of um things like boxes so like um compartmentalize compartmentalize things for yourself um, excuse me <clears throat> and get everything organized and in order for this next step one thing i do want to say you are right about what you said in the beginning with people and the arm implementation that's just what I'm calling it now. I have noticed that so many people who have had this, and not only me, but so many people I talk to, the personality, and I, okay, the personality has dramatically changed in a great majority of this. So, if somebody had anger issues before and now they're just all out angry, they don't even care. If they were depressed before, they just can't get out of this depression. If they were aloof or very black and white, it, it almost was an enhancement or a, you know, something is going on. I've never seen so many people look just so zoned out and just not care and just kind of... It, it's just the most, it's surreal. It's surreal. And um, they are now coming out with information that you can find if you look. And I'm not going to speak too much on it because I believe in the law of attraction. And sometimes what people don't know can't hurt them. But once they do know, it can because that belief is in their head. And if it's not affecting people negatively at this point, I don't want it to just because they know about that. But that this is an altering or a modifying type of juice and it had a very, um, well, just find the interviews by the scientists and the doctors. If you want to follow the science, that is the science to follow, my friends. Thank you guys so much for listening. I just, I love you so much. I will be back Wednesday at noon. Until then, go make miracles. Go live your life the way you want to live your life. Everybody is given a life to live on their terms seconds. and the way they want to live it. So your life is for you. Don't wait for anybody. F that. Mm -mm. You go live, you go do, you go be you. Okay. Until Wednesday, big hugs, big kisses.